Hello and welcome back to the Fish Locker out on the boat. Right, I'm just out for a bit of a lark today. No target really in particular. It was just, as you can see, it's a calm day. We haven't got many of them <laughs> this time of year and there is a bit of rain unfortunately. I can see it on the horizon. Hopefully it stays away from us. All I'm going to be doing is um, I hold up my prawn pot and I've got some I've got some live prawns in here. I will. This is where I can't fish any of them out. I have some live prawns. Prawn shrimps. Someone will tell me that I'm saying it wrong. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. Some live prawns or shrimps. And I'm going to fish them on a float. Which is very basically this setup. Sliding float with a locked in lead and a hook length. And I'm going to try some very light low fishing like little tiny soft plastics just on my light low setup we'll have a play around doing that while the tide decides what it wants to do and then we might go and try and find some mackerel and anchor up we will see where the day takes us but any day out in the water is the day that's a bonus let's go and find some fish all I've done is I've just hooked on a couple of little prawns and I'm going to cast my float away towards the back of them Back of them rocks there. Got me. I don't quite know how deep it is over there. I'm just gonna. This is gonna be my trial run. It is a big float, so hopefully you'll be able to see. And all I'm doing with the little lure is I'm just bouncing it back along the bottom. Just trying for anything. Flatfish, rass, a bass. Any fish today is a bonus. There was a cracking ball and rust. We have got a lot of rain coming, so I'm going to have to put the camera away in a second. This guy turned up just in time. What a beauty, isn't he? Look at those spots under there. I'm going to have to get the tweezers on him to get that hook out. Oh yeah, just prawn fished on a float. There we are. One last look. And he's released, just in time for the minging rain to come on. Oh. It is, it is absolutely lashing it down now, but I did manage a wrasse on the soft plastic. Just a little imitation fish look. I'm going to put the camera away again because it's absolutely lashing it down. No. Got a mackerel. Just a tiny little soft plastic. Come on. Keep, him, keep him in there. But yeah. That's all it was, just a little 5 gram jig head and a little wiggly. That 
It's a fish that snugged me up. I have to give it some slack and let's see what it's going to do. But yeah, that's a fish. Cheeky sod as well. It feels like a good fish. It's going to be a ras. The way that he was fighting, it's going to be a ras. See, it's still there because every now and again the float pops down. Give it a chance to see what it does. But yeah, there's definitely still a fish there. Let's go back and see if we can't free it. Keep feeling a bite every now and again. I think what's happened is the rass has gone down into a hole. Have I not seen you already today? Have I not had this guy once already? <laughs> you can see the prawn's whiskers sticking out of its mouth, look. Got some stunning colours underneath. And there's the prone look. There's the hook. Another beautiful ras. All he'd done was he'd bound himself round some seaweed. I could feel, because when I got hold of the line, it pulled a little bit. I could feel it breaking through. All I needed to do was just dislodge it. There you go, like that. See, if I'd have lost, if I'd have lost my temper with that, if I hadn't have been patient and I hadn't have just given it a chance, I knew the fish was still there because I could feel it still digging. Just give it a bit of time and a bit of patience and try it from a different angle and just a little bit of a pull. Perfect. And the rain stopped. We'll try that one more time and then we're gonna go and put the anchor down. Unfortunately, the wind noise in these clips was just too bad. I did have a couple of cracking mackerel and a stunning ballon rast though. Well, that's bit taken care of. Yeah, just dropped straight into a string of full mackerel. Brilliant. I am going to get one on this little jig. I am. Right, I've just got a sad anger now. And all I'm doing is I'm waiting for the boat to kind of sit itself in a position in the tide. All I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be fishing into a bit of a bit of a hole. And I'm fishing for things like codling and whiting, some eating fish. And I'm going to be using very simple running ledger rigs or locked in leg rigs with the prawns I had left over or some of the mackerel. This one just has a couple of live prawns on. There is a little bit of weight there. Don't know what this is. Not fighting. Oh, well, that'll be why. Because it is the smallest bull hush you have ever seen in your life. That one's practically got the egg stack still attached, doesn't it?
Yeah, a couple more prawns when they get sent back down. Yeah, that's all the riggies. Tiny bullhus. Every bait coming back so far just has one of these greedy little guys on it. Give it five more minutes and I might go somewhere else. Because if all if all that we've got on the ground is these, we're not going to catch anything else. They're just great. Look at the size of the bait that this little shark's eating. Greedy! <laughs> Give yourself five minutes to rig all the other baits up and if we just catch another one of those we'll up anchor and we'll go somewhere else. Yeah we're going. I hope the rest of the area isn't like this. Look, the length of the bait to the length of the fish. We've got some attitude and some some appetite on them, haven't they? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, that's a bite. Bit of weight behind it. Just a bullus making use of the tide. Try and unravel him before he makes himself any more of a mischief. Look at him teeth. Greater spotted cat shark. With my little bait right down his throat. You hold the head and the tail in the same hand, you can't bring it up and rub you. There we go, hooks out, it's going back. I have put a camera down on the seabed, but the clarity isn't great today, so we'll see how it works out. Fingers crossed it will have something to show you. Some juvenile cooch bream and plenty of harbour crabs moving around the place. A couple of big old spider crabs throwing their weight about. So there were some whiting down there, and a few mackerel. Still there. See look there's a fish there but it's holding onto a snag so I'm expecting this might be an eel. There is a little patch of rough ground just down there. I do think what we've done is we've probably picked up a fish and it's hold onto a snag. Just one of them days today, innit? Give it a chance. I can feel the lead bouncing, so I know whatever it is, it's just backed into a hole. 
give it five minutes and I might try and pull it out. Told you I'd get it out. Said I thought it was a conga, didn't I? Conga reel had got itself in a hole. Oh, look. Just ping the hook off. Just rasped through and broken the hook off. I've just got it in the boat in time. That was because it had been sat there on the bottom rasping about for all that time. Come on, calm yourself down. Have a look and see where that hook is. Well, if you can see, you can just see the hook there, can't you? Might be able to get that. Yes. Well, I feel better about that. I don't like to leave hooks in fish. If I can help it. A ten pound eel there. Let's do a quick photo of him and let him go. I told you, didn't I? I said to you, I said, I think that's an eel that's got itself in a hole. I'll just give it a chance. Just giving it that extra five minutes. Perfect. A little bit of patience. There we are, one last rope. One last look at him. Very dark, isn't he? Just one flick of the tail and straight back down. Incredible fish, them eels. No whitey, no. No session would be complete without a dogfish. <laughs> no whiting, no codling, sadly no eating fish today, but we had a nice day out anyway. Had some nice fish. I hope you've enjoyed joining me. I'm going to fish these baits out for another 15 minutes and then I'm going to go before the rain comes. All the very best. Take it easy. See you later. Ha ha ha.